Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and today you're joining me on board for another trip down the canal. This time we're passing through the sort of St. Martin's area, so enjoy the ride. Um, but I thought I would actually put this uh, commentary video to good use and actually focus on a single topic and it's something I've been asked about a lot recently, well a lot really over the last two years, of what is an average week like on board. Now, I'll say, first of all, there's a few things. I'm obviously going to talk about specifically my little life on my humble narrowboat here, because there's so many people who live so many different types of lifestyle on board narrowboats. You've got people who live in marinas all year round, you've got people who travel huge distances up and down the country, so obviously there's an awful lot of uh, variation. Um, but, like you say, people have been asking me, so I thought... Why not? We've got another nice 10 minute section of video here to enjoy and have some nice scenery instead of just pointing the camera at me and looking at my ugly mug while I talk about my week. Um, so, let's dive in. Uh, first of all, I'll say there's no such thing even for me as an average week. Uh, and it's not as if you live on a boat and then suddenly everything's completely different to living on a house, living in a house rather. It's not as if you suddenly have a completely different world that you live in. You are still living your life. So I'd say that my week in general is pretty straightforward. Um, I think the reason that a lot of people have been asking me this question uh, more recently um, is because of all the videos I upload of obviously boating like this, but then you've got all the kayaking and biking and walking up hills and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I don't know if people think that I just go from one ridiculous activity to another. <laughs> but as you've seen in previous videos, I do do as much stuff outside and outdoors as I possibly can. And that's really the core of why I wanted a boat, to have a low-cost lifestyle that I've managed to achieve on such a small boat, that I can then have all this free time to do this stuff. But uh, even if there is no sensible this is what I do every week because that would be very rigid and very regimented um, there's obviously a few sort of common themes so first of all obviously I have to go to work so two days a week normally maybe a little bit of overtime very rarely um, but two days a week so obviously that includes biking in and out from the boat uh, most of the time uh, and obviously that can vary wildly whether I'm moored up say at somewhere like uh, well, where we are now that's a very quick ride I can bike in in about 22 minutes um, or if I'm a little bit further out I mean you can easily be talking 9-10 miles spiking in from Ellesmere that sort of region or heading the direction that we're coming from around the Cheek sort of heading towards Langothlin way so then you'll have two days a week of um, working and biking, basically. And if I say really that this will sum up uh, what, what my week at the start of this week was like is a good example. So I worked on Sunday and Monday. So headed in Sunday morning on my bike, do to do go to work. Luckily, as some of you who watch my videos will know, uh, my mum lives about 10 minutes, if that, from where I work in the supermarket. So I can bike into her house leave my bike there in safety and then get changed into my work clothes, go to work, come back, maybe have tea there or see the family, go to my nan and granddad's, whatever, hop on my bike and then head out back to Tilly. Then I worked the late night, so I wasn't in work until two o'clock on the Monday uh, afternoon. So next morning, wake up, have a tinker around on the boat and just tidy it up and get stuff sorted and get like the fire ready for biking back home after work, then head into work once again, bike at my mum's house to go and do me eight hours, come back and then maybe about half eleven at night finally turn up on my bike back on board Tilly. And then on top of that, um, I wanted to meet me uh, mate on the following Tuesday, so I thought, right, I've got some videos to do because people have been asking me for this, that and the other, so what I did was, in the morning, do the letter writing video that you may have seen. So I woke up, filmed that and sorted all that out, then hopped on my bike, came back into town, um, 
met me friends, had a wander around, then uploaded the video and went off back to Tilly. And so then this week I've been... Uh, I haven't been doing me sort of outdoorsy stuff because I've been trying to get the roof ready, the ceiling and stuff for a little lick of paint. So that's been just a little bit of more the other uh, basic component of what a week of my life is. Just general sort of tidying up and doing little boaty jobs. I mean, luckily there's no serious issues that I need to attend to. So that's all good. Um, but you're talking really just basic stuff Obviously, all the cleaning, and when you live in such a small space where everywhere you go, you're turning around and maybe rubbing against the cupboard doors in the little alley you channel through. or So, whereas in a house you might have a lot to clean and a lot more space to clean, um, you don't tend to, what I find on the boat, is sort of chip little bits of paint off here and there because you're constantly moving things in and out. And if I'm trying to, for example, put the kayak away, my inflatable kayak I keep under the sofa bed. So you can imagine, even when that's deflated outside and then fetched inside, it's still a huge uh, thing to then start to try and fit underneath the uh, sofa bed when you've got about two foot of room anyway. So uh, just basic things like that, really. And of course, you add in the other normal, sensible, everyday life thing of obviously you've got to do some shopping. What I tend to do is try and do a big shop at the start of each month and get all my heavy items like bottled water, um, I don't know, tins of soup, just anything that's sort of either bulky or heavy. I try and have one bus trip to one of the local towns, whether that's Wrexham or, I don't know, uh, Shrewsbury, Oswestry, Street, whichever one, I'll get the bus out, stock up on all those sort of big items and bulky items, and then hopefully get the bus back to somewhere close to the boat. And similarly, if I ever um, meet me dad in the week, then I will do a similar thing of get the bus out to Wrexham to meet him by where he lives, but I'll go into the shop first and get a load of bottled water, for example, and then when he drops me off later on in the evening, um, obviously that's delivery straight to the boat door. Um, so basically, things like that are all one big job, get that done, and then your shopping is basically just sensible things that I can easily put in my backpack and either walk to and from the shops like you've seen in my videos around, in fact around this area of Canal from St Martins, or just hop on my bike and pedal back to the boat with a bag full of various types of bread. <laughs> so those are the sensible things, those are the grown-up things that are just a normal part of life whether you're on a boat or not. But equally, adding into that, as you may have seen, all of the stuff that the fundamental idea of the boat to me is low cost, simple life where I can get out, go walking, do all my biking and obviously now recently all my kayaking as much as I possibly can. So I don't say, oh right, this week and every week I'm going to do one walk, one kayak trip and one big bike ride because everything's so weather dependent. And you have to throw into that over the summer months when I'm not on a winter mooring, I do move the boat as well. So you factor that in and then add the weather into that. Obviously over the winter it's bad weather and often stops me getting out and doing too much actively. Um, but ideally I would love one kayak trip, one big walk and one big bike ride every week. But it's normally turning into maybe a couple of kayak trips in a week and then uh, some short walks or a couple of little bike rides and a kayak trip over a week. But basically, because I've got these options and being on the boat, I can set myself up to go, right, if I'm, well, certainly over the summer, I'll be moving probably two times a week, maybe two or three times a week, every three days, I'd say. So when you factor that in, it gives me, like I've said in video after video, a different place that I could start out all these uh, trips on various forms of transport from. And I've literally moored up places where I'm literally about 10 paces away from a public footpath, which then starts leading me up into all these fields. And then when you factor in on that, the biking and the different stretches of canal to kayak on, I mean, if you're talking about, I don't know, maybe after I've come off me winter mooring, well, I've been in the same area for a good few months, uh, maybe a couple of weeks after I'll be 15 miles away 
So suddenly I'm 15 miles closer to places that at the minute are far too far to consider walking to or biking to and then I can have, I know, I can start biking out to places like Whitchurch where sometime at this point, at some point this year I will be heading out on the boat so stay tuned for all the good old travelling down there and through all the lift bridges or just just basically biking around all these different uh, areas and like you say when you add in the canal that suddenly it's like oh this is a completely different area there's no way I could kayak 30 miles in a day to get to some of the places that in a couple of months when I'm off me winter mooring I will be kayaking and so that helps keep it all fresh. So on that note, I'm going to wrap things up and say thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos for a load more boat life and a load of more outdoorsy sort of stuff. And until the next time, subscribe, like the Facebook page. Almost 700 likes now. Amazing. Thank you. Um, of course, feel free to add me personally on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Check out my books, The Narrowboat Lad and The Narrowboat Lad Living the Dream. And until the next time, just have a fantastic day. Farewell.